you go. Okay, one guy that is really popular on the ABC with a show called Doctor Who. He arrived in the country last week. We had a chance to interview him. Uh, he's an amazing guy because he sort of flits from there to there to there and goes back in century, forward in century. And we had the chance to interview him. Here he is, Doctor Who. And don't forget, tomorrow night on, on ABC, it starts at uh, 6.30 with the new Doctor Who series. And here is Doctor Who. Well, Tom Baker, alias Doctor Who, welcome to Australia and to Thank Countdown. You. Thank you. Now, what does it feel like to be in Australia, considering you travel the universe and you span 500 years? Oh, good, good. Yes. Sometimes they say Australia's 500 years behind the rest of the world. I mean, what is your assessment of that? Oh, I would have thought it's longer than that. Really. <laughs> I hope not. Now, you're starting uh, tomorrow night uh, with your new series, four nights a week, yes. 6.30. Uh, Doctor Who must get himself into some awful strife during that time. Especially for a whole year we've got you. Can you let us in on any of the secrets? Or? Uh, yeah, well, the first one is uh, a kind of, a, it's a very messy monster in the first one, Holler at Fang Rock it's called. And there are a series of Doctor Who type coincidences. It's, uh, it's not a bad script at all. I think that uh, the viewers might like it. I hope they do. Because there seems a big interest over here in the programme. Now you're surprised how big uh, Doctor Who is, not only here but in Britain and everywhere else. Well, it's very difficult, you know, to believe anything that happens on the other side of the world, isn't it, really? Yeah. I've never been to Australia before, and to arrive here and be so warmly welcomed by especially uh, young children here is, is very thrilling. I mean, I knew that the programme was popular here, but I didn't appreciate it. Now I begin to appreciate it and, of course, to enjoy it. Now, your theme song, um, a couple of years ago, was a big hit on the charts, and now there's a disco version out. Have mm. you heard the disco version? Yes, I have, yes. And in fact, do any of the monsters or Doctor Who dance to it at any stage? No. <laughs> no, they're not brave enough back home to let me do that. I'd like to do that very much. But I'd the disco know. version? Yes. Now, uh, tell me, uh, with uh, the advent of Superman coming back on the big screens, um, do you think there may be ever a chance that Doctor Who and Superman may run into each other? Well, I mean, that's a nice sort of thought, but, you know, what would be the point? I mean, Superman wouldn't be any opposition for Doctor Who, really, you know, because... <laughs> You both have a sort of similarity with phone boxes, though, I know. Ah, yes, but I think that's the only way. I mean, I suppose Superman uses a phone box because, you know, he's rather prudish and modest, isn't he? He doesn't <laughs> want to take his knickers off in public. Uh, but he's, uh, I think, compared to the character of Doctor Who, he's a bit of a bonehead Superman. I mean, he just he punches things out, doesn't he? He certainly does. The character I'm involved with, you know, tries to be, uh, tries to think it out. Now, tell me, I've often wondered, wondered, does Doctor Who sort of wake up in the morning and get rather confused about times, because I only have to travel from, uh, from Sydney to, uh, to Perth and get confused about the times. I mean, you must be really confused sometimes. Yes, I am, yes. I'm in a permanent state of confusion. <laughs> really. Well, listen, I know the show's going to be a great success this year, so it's no sense wishing you that. Thank you very, very much for coming out, and I know you're going to give hours of enjoyment to everyone on the ABC. I hope so. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much, Tom. Goodbye. Well, there you go. That was Dr. Who, and I'll tell you what, his eyes are... Um, enough to frighten the chicken out of anyone i mean anyhow don't forget tomorrow night 6:30 uh, the new doctor who series starts on abc okay one group